going on guys, FA2 Mick here. In today's video, um, what I'm going to be covering is my favourite things, or five favourite things to code with Bimmer code. Um, I'll just jump straight into it. Um, so number one, well it's actually two codes to number one, um, but it does fall under the same thing anyway. Um, I know a lot of people hate it, and that is the um, stop start. So, um, code number one and number two is stop start off by default and um, the stop start memory um, setting as well um, so with these obviously when you switch it off um, the stop start isn't on by default so when you turn your car on um, the stop start isn't going to kick in um, it's just going to be off uh, by default i've also cover, um, coded the memory situation as well to remember it um, as to what you had the last time you was in the car so let's say you had it on uh, for example um, if I jumped out of the car, um, turned it off, come back in the game, um, it would remember that code. But yeah, it's very annoying. Um, obviously, I've got all of that off now anyway. Now, number two um, on my list um, is something that should have been um, put in the car for our standard. Uh, quite frankly, it's just, it's just stupid from BMW to even think of this. And that is the digital speedo. Like, every modern car has a digital speedo um i understand people do like analog clocks me personally um i'm not fussed about the analog clocks but it's always good um to have the choice of both um back when i previously had my uh, one series um f20 model that also didn't have the digital speedo as well and you know i was just thinking this is it's just stupid um but yeah that's definitely definitely something to code into the car um, obviously when you're just driving you can have a quick glance down see what you're doing with the analog clock you know you have to be looking and depending on what wheel you have as well um, if you've got the um, old the older BMW wheel uh, like what I used to have um, then the actual wheel gets in the way of the of the speedo itself so having that digital speedo is just a big uh, convenience to your life um, so number three on my list um, is the rear lights as DRLs. Um, so on this car it has uh, LED bars, um, just going across oh, two on each side um, on the tail lights. Um, obviously driving around, um, you know every modern car um, has DRLs on the rear. Um, but you know, you look at a BMW and the lights are always off. Um, so when I found this feature, um, I was like, yeah, let's get that coding in. It makes the car look more modern. It just looks better in the day when, obviously, the, the, the halos run at the front and then at the rear, it's just, there's just nothing. Um, so yeah, it really sets off the look of the car in the daytime as well. Um, for the fourth thing, um, God, this one is so annoying. So, so annoying. All the BMW owners will know about this, and that is the normal BMW gong. When that thing is just chiming in your ear, it is so, so annoying. Um, so obviously, obviously uh, changed that. You've probably heard it in my uh, previous videos, um, but I've changed it to the eye gong. Um, if you've got ProNav or anything higher, or like, so like MBT Evo, uh, you'll be able to get the Rolls Royce chime as well, and um, potentially the new BMW um, chime and uh, the new Rolls Royce one as well. Um, if you've got Business Nav, you can change it to the iGong, and that's it. Uh, well, i and Mini, sorry, along with uh, the higher systems. Um, but yeah. When I had my business now fit into this car, I had to change it. Um, so as I said, I've got the iGong, I'll just demonstrate it now. Yeah, so it's a lot less annoying than the uh, original BMW gong. It's so horrible. So, um, on to the fifth and final one. Um, this one is a controversial one. I've actually made a full video on how to code this in. Um, a lot of people didn't like it, uh, mainly people in the UK um, and a lot of people did like it, mainly from uh, America um, and that is um, the rear bars um, coded in as indicators 
um, as I said, is a controversial one. It's not something you see on your everyday BMW. Me personally, I like it. I've got a lot of friends that do like it and I've coded it in for them. And obviously I know a lot of people uh, that don't like it. Um, but that's the good thing about coding. You can code stuff in, you can code stuff out as well. You can convert it back to factory. Um, but yeah, that I do like that one. Um, I've inserted a little clip in there as well, and um, you would have just seen. Um, tell me what you think and look in the comments. But yeah, guys, that's literally my uh, favorite things to code on this car. In terms of coding, it's all down to spec. So, you know, if you have got a high spec vehicle, there is a lot more things you can code in, um, which is a good thing. And obviously, like when you're adding stuff onto the car, so like retrofitting, um, you do have, obviously have to code some stuff in. Um, so the coding world it is amazing I really do like it but yeah if you guys like this video uh, please like and um, share subscribe to the channel you guys are absolutely smashing it I've got 1162 at the time of recording this video um, and I just can't wait to um, see those numbers go up as well um, another thing as well is at the end of this month I am going to be listing uh, this car up for sale. Um, I think it is time to move on. Um, what I want primarily is a 335D. Um, obviously, I just want I want it for the bigger engine and four doors as well. Um, but yeah, um, I'll, as I said, I'll list it up. Um, if you are interested, um, my Instagram link is in the description. Just drop me a message on there, and I'll give you all the details of the car as well. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you in another video guys.